Laptops, cell phones, wireless modems, there's no doubt that new technologies have changed the way we work. But have they really given us the freedom to change our lifestyles? Well, we recently caught up with a modern-day road warrior who's living proof of what can happen when you marry technology with high adventure. Meet Steve Roberts, writer, systems consultant, and technomad. In the past 13 years, Steve has traversed more than 17,000 miles of America's highways and byways on Behemoth, his fully wired bicycle. Basically, before I started traveling, I was a freelance writer, and it was important to me to build a set of tools that would let me do this without tipping off my clients that I had become a nomad. You know, most, most Fortune 500 companies uh, who hire consultants would be somewhat suspicious of a consultant living on a bicycle and working out of a tent. Steve's compact system unfolds like a riddle into a fully functioning, integrated mobile office that allows this tech nomad to work just about anywhere and anytime. The primary power source for everything on the bike is the 72 watt solar array. This is almost 5 amps of power into the 12 volt batteries in full sun. Hi, this is Steve Roberts, Nomadic Research Labs. I'm not on the bike at the moment, so please leave a message and when I'm back on the road I'll find it and call you back. Thank you. Consulting work and writing about his nomadic experiences has financed Steve's lifestyle and website, where visitors can keep tabs on him via diary entries. What's going to fill this gap once? This Steve has recently taken a break from pedaling to designing and constructing his latest project, a trimaran that he calls the Microship. You know, the whole time I was bicycling, I found myself gravitating toward water. And <clears throat> I would stop and just gaze out over the water and start fantasizing about putting, putting a hull around Behemoth and a pedal-powered prop and just taking off that way. Along with his partner, Steve plans to expand on lessons learned on the road and conquer the high seas. But there are a lot of cameras on board. We've, uh, this is something I never did on the bike and always wished that I had. And this is a little underwater camera we made out of a piece of PVC tubing and a little video teleconferencing camera there. You can throw this overboard and look at fish and dolphins and the hull and so on. Scheduled to set sail next year, the journey of the microship will be chronicled online, letting millions share in the oceanic adventures. But Steve Roberts doesn't take sole credit for his inventions, and don't mistake him for a social recluse. I didn't go into hiding for three years to build this thing. I mean, I had about 45 volunteers on the bike, and now on the boat there's even more people who are coming around and bringing their wizardry to it. We'll get some more espresso okay. so we can get through this. You know, this is as social as it can get, as far as I'm concerned. I'm hanging around with some of the most interesting people I've ever met in my life. Bye.